If you stay in Russia, you will find peace. You will have sons and daughters, and they will have children. When you are gone, they will remember you. But when your children are dead, and their children after them, your name will be lost. If you go to France, glory will be yours. They will write stories about your victories for thousands of years, and the world will remember your name. But if you go to France, you'll never come home, for your glory walks hand in hand with your doom. Hi, chess lovers! Welcome back. I'm Lisa. It was the time of the First World War, where Russia quit on the halfway. Revolutions were in full swing in Russia. The Bolsheviks were overthrowing the provisional government and aiming at establishing their own regime. Alexander Alekhin, an aristocrat of Moscow, could no longer bear the chaos. He had made his decision. He seized a chance and fled to France, so that he would not be bothered by endless wars, and could concentrate himself on chess. And he never returned to Russia. For Alekhin, chess was an irresistible desire, and the dream of the world champion was never so vivid before. The dream he would fight for, no matter what happened. He had met Kablanka twice. He envied the Cuban for his talent. They decided to avoid participating in tournaments Kablanka was in, but to defeat him in the final battle for the world champion. After six years of hard working, his dream came true. He was a pride of the French people, but not the Russians. He had lived in France for years and was indoctrinated with Western political ideology. The Russians doubted about him. He was accused of speaking against Bolshevism. Traitor, said the Russians. We will condemn you to death if you dare turn to Russia. To become the world champion. Alekhine had turned into the enemy of all his countrymen. If you like the story, share it to your friends and follow Musa Chess Twitter channel. See you next time.